Hello everybody! I have a new jingle for my channel. Hey, hello, I'm back with another video. For today's video, as you can tell by the setting, today we are going to do my nighttime skincare routine. By the way, this makeup look, I know, it's not the best. Good color combo, I like the color combo, but it's just, it didn't come out as good as I wanted it to. But if you do like it, let me know. But if you don't like it, it's okay, don't tell me. I wanted to film this when I had makeup on so it could be easier to see how the products work. Hopefully I do a good job. Hopefully I'll enjoy this routine. This past like, year or so, I've been getting into skincare a lot and I've been trying to slowly get new products and better products because I really didn't have a good skincare routine. When I was in high school, um, I'm currently in college right now. But lately I have been wanting to make it on a higher priority of mine to take care of my skin especially because i live in a really humid environment i live in south texas so yes it's very humid here let's get into it um i'm gonna put my hair up into a chongo because i need to oh i'll be right back so whenever i used to get facials i i've only gotten like three facials before too and because i would go to the same place my mom would go and they would give us these headband things to put on and i've, I've kept them i just probably need to get a little wash but you know it's fine i wear this when i put makeup on and when i take my makeup off oh yes love this look <laughs> we're just gonna put this on like a regular headband and i'm 12. <laughs> the first product i go in with is this hot shell one step chamomile chamomile Come on. I go with this cleansing oil, this Tatcha cleansing oil. Yes, this is very expensive. Um, I'm surprised I even have this in my hand. This is a very expensive product, so you don't need this by any means. But I only have it because my mom, thanks mom, she gave this to me and told me that I should use this. Because originally she bought it for herself, but she doesn't wear makeup. So it's kind of like not worth it, I guess, for her. For me, it's worth it because I do wear makeup. I'm going to go in with... This is two pumps, and I I rub it in my hands. I usually do this in the shower, like right when I get in. I usually have it on, on the tub. I just do my whole face. I put this all over my face. It feels gross, by the way. I hate the way it feels. And I put makeup on my neck, so. See, this is why I do it. I do it in the shower for this reason, because I like to get all on my neck, because I do dra drag my make my foundation down. I look gray say. You know what I look like? I look like a freaking biscuit, like one of those Pillsbury biscuits before you put it in the, the oven to cook. I look like that right now. <laughs> my hands are greasy, my face is greasy, and we're just gonna put a little bit of water on my hands. I feel like this kind of activates it a little bit. In a way, the oil. See how like, oh God. Now we're going. I wish I could see what my sink looks like. It looks so bad. This is why I don't do it in the sink. If you can, please, if you use this product, use this in the shower. Do not use it in the sink. Okay, now we're gonna grab a clean towel. And I know I still have makeup on. So we're gonna use this to like try to take it off. By the way, I usually do this in the shower. When I get out of the shower, whatever didn't come off. I go in with this. I don't really like to do it on my well in the shower I do every I do my whole face, but right now um I'm doing my eyes separate just because I I don't like yeah. Just because. Um whenever I wear a lot of eyeshadow and mascara, I use this micellar cleansing water. And it works really good like a guy. And it takes off my mascara, basically all of my eye product, and then I kinda like rub my eyebrow. I don't know if this is okay to do, but I do it anyway. I have really thick freaking hairs. It's really hard to get, ah! it's really hard to get product off. Now, I, after I'm done with that, I still have a little bit of product on there. So I get my, the same towel I used for the cleansing oil. And I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. I know I'm probably still pretty rough, but I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying. Next, we go in with our, Clevisonic Tati is the one who convinced me to get this a couple years back. I love this product. I'm not saying you have to get this exact one. 
I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that if you want to invest in your skincare, I would say invest in a cleansing brush. Personally, because this cleansing brush has done so much for me, I used to, ne like I said, I used to never really take care of my skin. When I first got this, my skin broke out so much because this brush helps, uh, I guess, like, lift the impurities or the bad stuff that's in my skin on the top layer of my skin and pushes them out and i broke out so much but after that i did not break out it once i consistently started using this i only use this at night or if needed and i only use it whenever i wear makeup or whenever i just feel like my face is really oily from the day oh yeah by the way if you didn't watch my previous video of my daytime routine i have oily skin oily combo skin it depends on the weather a lot but since i do live in south texas and it's very humid and windy outside all the time my face is very oily and i think that has to do with jeans as well because my mom has oily skin too when if i do get dry it's because it gets dry outside like if you have a cold front and i i get dry patches usually around my mouth or like this area it's really weird sometimes on my nose but it's very rarely or if it's because i don't put enough moisturizer on other than that i'm very oily and it's really annoying <laughs> quick um story time when i first started getting into skincare on um, my freshman year of college which was 16 2017 that year i got really into skincare well i guess face mask in general and i would always do all those like peel off face mask i would do a bunch of clay mask that kind of ruined my face it like stripped my face and that's whenever i started to deal with a lot of acne which was when i started using those and like a little bit before i used to never really have acne in like middle school or high school i didn't have teenage acne thank thank you god um I didn't, but when I got to college, I was like freaking out because I didn't realize I could get acne because I thought I was okay, I don't get acne, you know? But no, I got acne and I still get acne, so it kind of sucks. So I didn't know how to combat, I don't know how to, I didn't know how to react to getting acne. So the first thing I did was dry out my face basically. <sighs> it, it backfired on me and my face got, for a whole year, my face was really, really dry for a whole year and a half. And that's whenever I started to get more into skincare, little by little, because it was so dry. But like at the same time, it was oily and it was just very awkward. It was a weird stage for my face and I feel really bad for it. Like, I'm so sorry. But um, I am back on track. Like my face is back to normal to being oily, but sometimes it is dry due to the weather. After the whole phase of doing face masks is whenever I got this. And this is what really changed the game for my skincare routine this is what made me fall in love with skincare i guess like i love doing my skincare because i used my brush like it was just fun for me also i'm going to tag hiram a skincare by hiram for this video because i want him to watch it because i want him to tell me what other things i should use because i saw him do like a react to this other girl this other uh i guess subscriber of his and i thought it was pretty cool so i want him to react to my <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I was going to do this video anyway, but a lot of the stuff I do here is because of Hiram, like the steps, the order, the products. If you want to get into skincare, I would suggest watching him. Uh, James Welsh? I think it's James. It's one of the Welsh brothers. I like watching both of them though. Susan, Yara. I love watching mixed makeup. Sorry, back to skincare. For my, I guess, third cleanser, because two three okay for my third or i guess second cleanser because this is really just whatever my CeraVe cleanser initially got this because it says hydrating and at the time my face was really dry but i think i want to change it because it does i feel like it doesn't do a lot and i've seen on hiram's channel that he says it doesn't really do a lot for his face either and i think he also does have uh, oily skin like me i need to buy the blue bottle i think i think it's the blue one he, he recommends put the cleansing gel on my face first then i wet the brush and also there's different brushes you can use by the way i'm using the deep pore cleanser one because i caked on that makeup on today and i really need to get that to get all the makeup out so we're gonna turn on it times it i don't know how long it times i think it's like 10 or 15 seconds but it times it per section. Go into a certain section of your face. And I like to bring it down. I barely have it on my face. 
You don't have to be too harsh with it. The brush does most of the work for you. You just have to move it, graze it across your skin, and then you just listen for the beat. I don't know if y'all heard the beat, but. Okay, and then we're basically done. I clean off my brush, because we don't want to have cleanser left over in there. Then I'm gonna rinse off my face. Instead of going in with that same towel, I'm gonna go in with a clean one, pat dry, and if I don't see any makeup on it, then we're good. Next, I would use, okay, by the way, I don't have a treatment and I need one. The only kind of treatment I have is this different gel, but this is just like spa treatment for pimples. If anybody else has any other suggestions for treatments, specifically ones for dark spots and blemishes, let me know. I just ran out of my toner. The toner I was using is, it's like one of the pixie toners and it i think it had a rose and it had retinol on it or ret yeah retinol and i was like ooh, retinol because i know susan yara likes retinol and i wanted to get a toner but i saw hiram's review on pixie as a whole and i saw that he does not like that thingy because that's all my parents and it does have a lot of parents but i love the way it smells i'm sorry ooh. I just love the way it smells, it smells so good. I finished, I just threw it away. I'm not going to get another one. But I do want to get a new toner or a, just a treatment or something. Because I feel like my skincare routine is kind of boring. It's like really boring and I want something fun. But anyway, the next product I got going is with this uh, vitamin C serum. I don't know if this is any good. My mother gave it to me. I don't even know if this is a good brand. But uh, if anybody knows of this brand, if you think it's good or not, let me know. I squeezed it on my hand and no, it did not touch my skin. I got you. And I kind of just like, I rub it in a little bit. I hate the way vitamin C feels. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, after vitamin C, basically wash my hands. I go in with my eye cream. And I only use this eye cream because my mother gave it to me, not because I bought it or whatever. Because I have it, I use it. But if I didn't have it, I would not use it. I would just use my moisturizer that I use. I used to use the CeraVe moisturizer, but it's, it's so thick. I kind of hate it now. Only if my face feels really, really dry, I use it. Now that we have our eye cream on, I'm going in with this water gel cream. I freaking love this stuff. Uh, I didn't buy this. I got this. My mom got this in her a boxy charm, and I stole it from her. <laughs> so we're just gonna get a little bit of that. Okay, a lot. I just love the way this feels, and I got it everywhere. I'm almost out of it, so I don't know what. I can use next so if anybody has any recommendations for oily skin let me know I don't like stuff that's too heavy I like stuff that's pretty lightweight it just feels really good I like the way this feels the next thing I do is I like to use this and I, I later I just have it there so it doesn't need to be super super cold but if you want to have it cold you can stick it in your freezer as soon as you start doing your routine and then by the time you're to the step you just take it out and use it so you don't have to have one of those little mini freezers even though i want one you don't have to do that just letting y'all know i forgot to tell y'all that uh if i want when i do exfoliate at night i don't do this often i do this like i'll say at least once a week but this is what i use i have a demonstration on this on my other video for my daytime routine and then i go in with some vaseline because your girl's lips are crusty for my last step i go in with my different gel if i have pimples and right now i have i have one right here for me i don't even know if i use this stuff correctly but this is how i use it it's been working i guess so i get a tissue a tissue a um one of these things and i kind of clean it up because i take off the product that's on there and then i put a little bit of this on and I put it right on there and I leave it there overnight and then when I take it off. That is it. That is it. That is it. That was the last step. That is all I do for my nighttime skincare routine. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all think I should add to it. If Hiram even does watch this, I want to say hello and thank you for teaching me about skincare. I doubt he'll even watch this, but whatever. This is the end of the video. These are all the steps. I think I did it correctly. I don't know, probably. I'm still a work in pro progress. Make sure to leave a comment if you like this video or, or comment any suggestions you have for me and whatnot. 
make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye wait is it going oh sugar i'm not sorry okay okay oh shoot i've got a makeup product i need i'm going crazy whoa and just like that i'm 12 years old